All right, y'all, so here we go. gonna be an interesting day uh, today is the first day that we can ride kind of through an exciting spot and I'm gonna try to document it for y'all my first tour today is at 1130 this is Friday uh, they'll be the first ones that get to experience what hopefully I can show you here in a minute and yeah just come see us at water tower tours And you can book online or you can find us at the museum above the Woodbury shop, the Walking Dead Museum. Okay, so today we should have access to a to a part of Alexandria or the Gen property that hasn't been accessible in a while now. I haven't got a chance to ride by there yet, so I don't know what to expect. A little bit, a little bit nervous. A little, of course, a lot excited, but I'm gonna try to get some footage of it. I'm showing you guys all these props. So these props were used. Screen used in the show. Some random autograph stuff and crew gifts, some specialty items. So I just did my first two tours of the day and man it was surreal being able to go through that through that gate and beyond the wall so yeah as of right now the walls of alexandria are still up but morgan street which i'm about to take you down is open it's, it's the only public road right now the rest of them are private so we're kind of restricted to morgan street uh but it is cool to be able today to uh, to go through with the wall still there as far as i know they'll be coming down pretty soon so it's, it's neat to be able to see it with them still there so we're gonna be heading out and I'm gonna be going through the main gate of Alexandria. Now there's not really a gate there anymore. There is kind of still the little watchtower off to the right and I'll show you that. But the, the gate itself is gone, it's open. To the right is gonna be all the, 
all the really cool spots uh, like where most of the action happened now there is some that we can't see but we can see a lot of cool spots we're gonna see the pond where the infamous you know scene where Daryl had the rocket launcher uh, the, the little gazebo we'll come to an intersection where you can see the house that that Rick stayed in and uh, Jesse and Pete's house which was porch dick and then they were used for other houses all throughout there I'm still going back and re-watching so let's go check it out we got the outpost 22 commonwealth this is the back gate you can kind of see on the other side of that gate that says outpost 22 you can kind of see those rooftops there those are three houses on the end those are actually <clears throat> they're kind of just like shells of houses they're not finished houses they they built those to uh, to be able to add this extra section of the wall here. From what I've been told, they are gonna tear those down and replace them with functioning houses in their place that will go for sale. There you go, you can actually buy you a house on the gym property inside of Alexandria. For years, this was as close as you could get to the main gates, to the wall at this area of Alexandria. You had to stop up here. All right, y'all, here we go. Uh, before we go in though, you're gonna see this little, looks like a rundown shed here. That's actually what they used for the restrooms on set when they were here working in Alexandria. So if you go in there, they're fully functioning bathrooms. All right, y'all, so here we go. There used to be a little kiosk right here, a little security kiosk where they would stop you, but now all there is is a porta potty. So there used to be some houses right here. They were just set pieces. They looked, out, looked like burnt out houses. Uh, they tore those down a little while back. So if you look off to the right here, you're gonna see that little watchtower I was telling you about. And then you can see the pond over there. Hope everybody remembers what happened over there with Daryl and the rocket launcher. I'm gonna show you some pictures once we get on the other side here. I don't wanna stop here because, uh, you know, the people do live here and I don't want to, to disrespect anybody's privacy. Remember that if you come down, be cautious. Don't go onto private properties. Don't go down roads you shouldn't. Stick to Morgan, Morgan Street here. <clears throat> so yeah, this gazebo here was featured uh, quite a bit on the show. There were the scenes with Noah and Diana's husband. I went blank. Y'all tell me in the comments. I'm sure I'll think of it here in a minute. See the brownstones off in the distance there. Over on the other side there is that pond we were talking about earlier. As we make our way up to the intersection, now the houses on the left, I'm not gonna show as much because people do live in those and they were kind of just backdrop on the show. They weren't really featured spots. So as I make my way down, off to the left was a frequently used road. Once again, I've got some pictures I'm gonna show you as soon as we get out of Alexandria or out of the gym property here. Of course, now we are heading out of Alexandria. So this gate, you didn't really see this gate on the show. This gate was a service gate. It was used for a service entry, lighting trucks, electric trucks, stuff like that. That house looks like it would have been featured on the show, but they're just gutting it and doing something to it. They're just renovating it. As far as I know, wasn't really featured on the show though. Yeah, so how cool was that? It's still, I'm still fanboying out a little bit about it. It's, it's, it's really surreal to be able to go, go in and it's really cool that the walls are still there. Be sure if you come down, I'm gonna say it once again, can't stress it enough be sure to be respectful to the people that live inside of there maybe i can give you a little backstory on the property so this is known as a gin property 
as, as far as I've researched, it was built as like a set ready community. So, you know, if you bought a house in that neighborhood before The Walking Dead came, you knew there was a chance there were going to be productions using, using that little subdivision. Uh, little did they know The Walking Dead would be moving in and be there for years with this wall there. So it was built as that and it was a really smart move that brought The Walking Dead here, that brought that production here. It, it breathed life into this town. Uh, and, you know, they'll probably take a break from filming the residents inside of there but now different productions can different productions can use it i mean marvel productions anything filmed in georgia that needs a little neighborhood they can use that property i mean it's just an example but like wandavision you know wandavision they did a lot of filming here in georgia but the scenes of the little neighborhood they lived in they went out to california to the warner brothers ranch to film those scenes so they were going back and forth now had this property been available and not been under contract with amc for the walking dead they could have used this little neighborhood in one division and that's just that's just an example I, i'm constantly asked what's going to happen to this town i think the town will be okay i think people will still come the walking dead family it's kind of like you know star wars fans star trek fans uh, that fan base is very committed. I think they'll always, they, you know, the ones that have came here, have, Sonoya has a special place in their heart. And for the ones that hadn't seen it, I'm sure they want to see it. There's lots of locations to see right here in town and the surrounding area. And if you want to see those locations, get a little backstory on them. Uh, get the perspective of some of our guides that have worked on the Walking Dead set. If you want to do that, come see us at Water Tower Tours. We also do private tours besides the golf cart tours here in town. We do private tours where we take you all around the Atlanta, the Atlanta area. Uh, we do a downtown tour for The Walking Dead. We have several different tours committed to The Walking Dead with the private tours. And then we have like a Marvel tour. We have a Best of Downtown Atlanta tour. And we have a Stranger Things tour. I'm gonna wrap the video up here I appreciate everybody watching especially you guys that watch till the end don't forget to subscribe like the video share it show everybody what's going on down here and yeah subscribe because I'm gonna be doing another video when the walls come down to see what it looks like then so stay tuned subscribe like, share all that good stuff thanks everybody